Right, so this is about Newcastle United. Now, Newcastle United play Chelsea tomorrow night at, I think it's 1.25 a.m. I doubt very much I will be up, but I will make the best effort to stay awake until the early hours of the next morning. But I can't guarantee that. Now, as we approach the new season, I've said this many, many times, and I hope that Eddie Howe and the players get wind of this. Because this season is going to be the biggest battle you've ever had. And if you're not ready, well, you're going to find out the hard way. Now, with um, the coming season, we have more games to play. We've got Sandro Tonali, we've got Harvey Barnes added to the squad, and we've got players going out, which is Dalaro, I think he's going to Leeds, and others. But the thing is this, right? Our players who train on that pitch, what, you, what I think you need to do is play in segments and be able to switch. Now, when I say switch, it's not coming from the sidelines. No, not at all. That would be too easy for the cameras to pick up. Now, what I mean by I'm going to explain that is this. Signals on the pitch from the captain. Those signals may be hand gestures, like, or, you know, something along those lines. And you have to be able to read those from wherever you are on the pitch. And if you can't read those signs, hopefully the player who is running next to you can tell you what your instructions are. Because the reason why is this. There's been too many times last season where teams have put out a formation and they have got as far as our back four. Now our back four has been brilliant. But you're still only human. And as I say, the, the new players who are coming in, they will make it able for Bruno to just push that little bit forward. Now, Bruno is a very gifted individual. And we've got Miggy, we've got Joe Linton, we've got Sandro Tonali. And when you're on the training pitch, what I think you need to do is, as I say, work out a system where five, ten minutes, you are playing a system. And if the opposition who you're playing on a specific day of the week, switch it so that you make them think. Why have they switched? And when you do that, you're putting doubt into their head. And that's what you need to do. Because being in the Premier League 
is extremely hard place to be. But last season, we finished fourth. This season, we're going to finish higher. But if Eddie Howe, Jason Tindall and the rest cannot like put out the instructions shouting at the players on the, on the sidelines the cameras are going to pick that up so it must be from within the pitch like hand signals gestures and you've got to train yourself to do this and if you can do this at the end of the day what's going to happen is like when they break down the attack and get the ball when we change that system over first person nearest the ball try and get the ball the first person doesn't do it the second person that's your mission and then we move forward from there backward balls sideward balls they're not going to be enough. And that's the truth. We have to be smarter than the opposition. And that means on the pitch. It's not somebody shouting from the sidelines. It's on the pitch. And if you can manage to grasp that situation while you're on that pitch, the likelihood is... When it comes to the 91st minute or the 95th minute, we're going to come away with the points. And points mean we climb. And as I say, we're almost at the starting gate. We're not there yet. But we've got to integrate changing the system not from the sidelines but from the pitch you got to work hard and if you work hard enough St James's Park will roar and that's what we want because we want to send the fans home from each and every game at St James's Park happy so that they can begin their working week on a positive note so thanks very much for watching and as i say if i can make the match tomorrow night then i'll tell you so thank you